Hello and welcome back to Photoshop r and This is week two and this is lesson two. So in this one we're going to be making uh, the Hercules text at the top here. Now I did this for a, uh, a contest for the actual film, the Hercules film with uh, Dwayne Johnson. Um, I won it. Um, I got a signed copy of um, the original poster from the film and uh, Dwayne Johnson's signature and all the other uh, actors' signatures. Um, so uh, let's go into this. Um, so it's quite an easy tutorial today. So it's just recreating this top text here. Now you can do this with anything, smoke, ice, anything like that. It's uh, really good. It's, uh, let's go into there. We've got, I've made this uh, document here. It's just basically the same image uh, but without the effects and without the Hercules text at the top. So I've just quickly written out Hercules in the same sort of style. Okay, so let's start. So I've got this Shutterstock images here. Now I can't give you these images because they're from Shutterstock, but you can find flames exactly like this on Google or DeviantArt anywhere. Um, they're pretty much exactly like this. I just had this in my file depository. Um, so let's go right into it. So the first one I'm going to get is this one at the top. I select it with a lasso tool. I'm going to hit Control C, Control V, change the screen on the layer styles, Control T, and let's just rotate it and bring it to the H. So we're going to right click and get a warp. Now basically, this tutorial is just basically a warp tutorial. Um, so I'm doing a lot of warping. I want to make sure that's smaller at the edge there. And then bigger over here. I want the flames to sort of like look like it's got um, some wind going past it. Make it look a bit more uh, interactive, a bit more 3D. Okay, so like that looks quite good. Now it's going to be different to the, my original one, um, but they always are. It, you can never get exactly the same. Um, let's get this one here on the other side okay and I'm just gonna do exactly the same thing I'm going to stretch this because it's uh, quite um, I'm gonna stretch it up I'm gonna make it smaller on the width so let's make it straight first Control T again and then you can uh, reduce that like that so again just put it on the other side of the H like that I'm going to warp it again. Make the bottom bit a bit uh, lower down than the other side of the H. Looks like it's stretched a little bit. Okay, so something like that. Now it's a bit flat in the middle there, so we can add another flame. So just uh, the top of one. So maybe this bit here. This will do nicely. Screen again. And then just add it. Just add it to the middle or something. Something like that. That looks good. Okay, so now the middle part. So I'm just going to use this one in the middle. I'm just going to place it there. Control T. And just place it in the middle. See what that looks like. So it's a bit thick, I think. Definitely a bit thick. So let's make this a bit thinner. So just going to stretch it. Now don't worry about the, um, the original letters. I'm going to do this by uh, eye now. Again, that right hand one is definitely a bit too thick again. Just reduce that. Now, another way of doing this is actually using the smudge tool or the liquify. You can use the liquify as well, which works well. You can just uh, drag it in. Uh, but the smudge tool, what we can do with the smudge tool, we'll get to it. There you go. You can actually bring this down a bit. So I've got it selected so the white appears. Some odd reason. Let me have a look. Bring your paint in, take that off. There you go. Okay, so bring the strength down. I'm just going to smudge this slightly. Just because flames are obviously, when they're actually burning, it's very blurred to your eye. Um, we can't actually catch all the flames in our eyes. It's, it's a weird thing. I can't really explain it, but you, you understand. So making it blurred is actually a really good uh, way to make it a little bit more realistic. Like that. Okay, it's another middle section. Let's fix that. So I think it should join maybe there. And then let's get rid of the bit on the left. So I'm just going to E and uh, erase it. They're about masking it. I'm pretty confident that um, you won't need to go back. Okay, so again, just uh, 
it's a bit smaller. Like that. Okay, so that's looking okay. I think uh, the bottom needs a bit more flame, so I'm going to actually duplicate this and rotate it by 180 degrees. Put it at the bottom. There we are, it looks perfect already, so let's get rid of that. That's why to make it make sure that it doesn't look straight at the bottom, just like a straight edge. Oh, that's good. This is a good H. Okay, so let's do the other part. So do the E now. So again, you can have the same ones, but make sure you just um, you know warp it so it doesn't look exactly the same. So I'll try this bottom one here. And control T. Screen. And let's uh, add that to the side of the E there. Increase and reduce the size as you go. Yeah, that looks okay. And then let's say get another one. So let's get the same one we used before. So let's try this top one. Okay, so let's just add that to the bottom. Reduce the size because it's a bit too big. Now this is quite different to the, the side one, so we're actually going to change this a little bit. Maybe add that bottom one to the side as well. We'll do that in a second. Add the top part, so we can just turn it around. Like that. And you can bend the, the actual side bit. So let's actually select the uh, top left of that top part. we just warp that separately. Like that, so just dragging it down so it joins up, if that makes sense. So you see it joins up now. Let's raise that bottom part. And uh, maybe, uh, maybe smudge this top section and do the bottom part as well. Like that, and the side, a little bit of the side. Really like that, looks really good. I'm going to add this, uh, the bottom part again. Let's uh, grab this again to the side. This will all matches up in like type of thickness. It's looking a bit um, thin on the side there. Okay, so like that, just stretch it out like that. Raise the bottom. And we're just gonna reduce that again, the size, and then just warp it as you please. Again, it looks a bit thicker now as well, so that's good. Make sure you blend it in nicely as well at the bottom, so raising it. Okay, so that's looking really nice. So the same again for the middle, I'm just going to duplicate this middle section and uh, get that rest of the E done. Like that. Okay, and then I'm going to add another one in the middle one as well, just to make it a little bit more interesting. It's a bit like uh, the Zorro. If you've watched that film, it makes that uh, Z, Z from fire in the middle of the fields. Sort of that type of uh, effect we're going for. That that just adds a bit more um, movement. See that add it to the other parts. Makes it a bit more realistic. Let's uh, rotate that one. There you go, it's looking good. Okay, so now a tricky one is going to be the R. I'm not going to do all of it, I'm just going to do the H and E and the R just to so can show you um, all types. Obviously, the R is rounded. I wanted to show you that, make sure you can get that. Um, so, again, let's get a section. Make that invisible. Uh, so, let's go for. Let's go for this one, but we're only going to get some of it like that. Okay. And don't worry, like, it's cut off, we're going to fix that. So on the R, I'm going to do, zoom in on it, and we're going to rotate it. So into the puppet warp, I've used this in a previous tutorial. So it's fairly simple, just uh, rotate it as you want, so like that, the one at the top as well. So we need to move this down, like that. Okay, and the middle section, we're just going to get rid of that by going to a hard round and just 
getting rid of the, some of the flames. Like so. Make it a bit softer. Flames are quite easy to um make a little especially at a sport like a far distance, you can make it look like it's flames. You don't, you know, you don't have to mask it out and try and get a flame brush. See that looks like flames already, so it's it's fine like that. Harden this down even more, make it a bit softer. Like that. Can't get rid of that because I'm not going to need that part. Get another one. It has to be similar, so let's go for this top one. Add that in. Control C, Control V. Screen, and let's uh, make this smaller. Like that. And then let's place this down the right, left hand side of the R. Let's uh, warp this. Like that. Get rid of the actual writing so we can see what we're looking at. So that's good like that. And again, we can just select one of these and place it where our R is meant to be. Couple warp it as well. Make it a bit more angled. that and that's let's warp it as well so on the sides like that okay so when you've done that looking quite cool now we can just get some um sparks and stuff so let's open up some sparks I, mean, I didn't have that open i should have a second uh so it's there Sorry, this is really unprofessional. Right, so this is Sparks here, so. Right, so over the top of it all, when you've done it all, so I'm not actually gonna show you the rest of the the letters, because um, that's exactly the same way as I did the, the other ones. Just add some Sparks in. Now these, again, these are found easily on Google if you type in some Spark brushes or Spark stocks. Okay, now you just put it over the top. So, add it to certain areas. Like that, and then over there. Just so it looks like it's um, actually real flames. Add another one. Now what you can do with these as well is you can blur them. So go to filter, blur, and motion blur. This will make it look like it's actually environment uh, sparks, not just um, you know the picture of. A, it looks more realistic because that's what it looked like in a film. Or a photo. So like that. Okay. So when you finished um, adding all them, so obviously I'd have a lot more to this. I'd uh, go around of all of them and uh, add more sparks everywhere. I'd go around blur and everything. And what you can do is actually just uh, to make it a little bit easier for you, if you want to affect all of the the layers, just merge them all together. So go down to where we got there. I'm gonna make a group of this, call it Herc. Control J, Control E, and it's just one layer there. Obviously, don't worry about it. obviously it's black, just change the screen again. Now you can get rid of the HER, it's exactly the same look. Now, this obviously you could rotate it, you can blur it, so filter, blur, motion blur. If you want to make it a bit blurry, but you could actually make this a smart object. Go to filter, blur, motion blur, add that blur, and on the mask itself, we can just get rid of the, actually, just invert the mask, so control I on your uh, keyboard, and then just add it in where you want the blur. So, there's a brush, a white brush, soft brown, we get opacity, let's go 50%, and you just add it wherever you want the blur to be, like that, and it'll add it in. Okay, so that is basically how you do it. That's how I did uh, that one there. Exactly the same. Um, obviously, I use a little bit different um, the uh, how I did the, the flames, but it's the principle is exactly the same. Obviously, you can't get exactly the same um, each time. Yeah, it's always different. Um, but that's it for this lesson. Um, so it's quite a simple one today. Um, if you have any ideas for some lessons, any um, like piece of my artwork you liked, um, and you want to know how I did that, then uh, put it below in the comments, and I will uh, get to it. 
Um, so thanks for watching this video. Please like and uh, subscribe, comment. I'm also signed up to my newsletter as well, which is in the description. Um, and yeah, thanks. Uh, see you later. You, you